some of the other things we didn't touch on within human, there's a lot of stuff about, and we're just going to get into this, baking geometry and doing some other things, but there's a lot of other functions within this plugin that we didn't get into. We can create and modify layers directly within Rhino. So there's a lot of things here that actually kind of improve the interoperability between Grasshopper and Rhino. So whether it be this dynamic geometry pipeline, which is similar to geometry pipeline, but it allows you to develop things in a little bit or be a little bit more dynamic with it per se, depending on what characteristic you want to use. You can explode blocks in the model. You can do a number of things, even controlling hatches to that extent. This tree frog, which is kind of just a little add-in into human, just allows you to have some additional kind of path control tools. So there's a few things that we didn't necessarily get into. Let's go ahead and do some black frames since we have some frames here. So let's go back to our custom display and we'll do custom material again. And now we have our frames. I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna go to my frames down here, plug those in, and then I'm gonna grab a color. And we're gonna do black. And so throw that in there. Let's go ahead and turn off all of this red display. So I'm just saying like control Q, control Q. And then transparency, I do not want these to be transparent. I just want them to be black. And then fuse bitmap, I don't want at this point. So that's pretty much it for the frames. And then the only other thing that I don't have a custom preview on, maybe if we go back to our columns and our roof, I think these were our columns. Let's change those to black. And then let's do our roof is black also. So our roof was somewhere along here. I think this was it. So let's just go ahead and plug this into my black display. Oof, kind of a dark roof. I'm not sure the roof is actually black. Let's go back to our pictures. Well, the edge is black. The other side is white. I mean, you could go in and obviously customize this. I think what I'm trying to show here is that you can actually create quite a nice looking image potentially with just the kind of render settings within Grasshopper. And what's nice about that is then, as opposed to always having to work through your specifics and then do a rendering or whatever it happens to be, you can actually get to a point where you can create a nice enough image where you're just doing a screen capture from the Rhino model. And then, you know, you have a quick thing that you can print to show kind of outside of the computer per se.